Greetings and welcome back to Last Word. Last time we got to level 6 by uh, beating Seymour over and over again in the game of words. And yeah, so let us continue to find the secret behind that mouth that the professor built. So let's see if we can buy another upgrade. We can increase our bows, we can increase our wine tasting, um, we can have a piercing grace. Oh, let's increase the wine, wine tasting. I think there was one thing, uh, or, um, one wine, uh, ah, bottle we could get with level 3. Also, we can uh, gossip with Judge Chef boasting a little bit more. So, let's do that. They are amazing wine connoisseurs, and that's practically it. Okay. Oh, the rosé wine, we already got that. Okay. Those are the wine labels we already got. The common curtsy. Okay. Yeah, I need another bow tie to unlock huh. the other um, skill we have. Let's gossip with Seymour. He doesn't like wine. Okay, still no wine for Seymour. Uh, let's find the bottle. Okay, level 4. Uh, I think this was the Embleton, yes. It's the sparkling wine. There we go, there's a level 3 wine tasting thingy. Excellent, it's a bottle of Toffel. This is easily my favorite sparkling wine. I guess I should pour myself a glass. And now we are all dizzy in the head. Hmm, new wine label. And 19 experience for that. There we go. Nice. Also, awkward statue. Say more house at the bottom. And we still don't know how to unlock it. Alright. Yeah. Gossip about wine. I truly love a fine wine. Who doesn't? If you really want to know more about wines, okay, he's suggesting us to meet Mr. Boasting. And with her, I might have stumbled. Oh yeah, the toilet wine. We already got that disgusting thing already. Alright. Anything else in here? We got the transparent bottle. The jade we already got, and the different one is level four. Okay, so we need to increase the wine mm -hmm. tasting even more before we can uh, continue. I think peace of mind is new. No, inflection perfection is new. So we can. Uh, oh no, we we already found that. Ah. Okay, let's find someone to discourse Eep. about things. For example, Mr. Mo Mr. Holden McCall, and get some more experience. Mr. Boasting is a tough match. Care to help me get the upper hand? I didn't think I still had the touch. But our last conversation made me feel like a boxer again. I'm not one to give up the fight. That's what I like to hear. Okay. So, we're both collected. Um, I have the first go, so, hmm, I don't know. And let's go with that. And see, yeah, we of course get irritated by him. But now I, oh, dang it, I can only do the subtle approach to get him irritated. Oh well, why not? He's using his tech, but he isn't irritating us. And he got the five uh, thingies. Alright, we need 30 power for the common approach, and that would be the star now. Uh, we could... Yeah, let's go for the common approach. To get him frustrated, and we have the power for the next rounds. Now we get a punch. And he gets tacked. Okay, we need something submissive, preferably something like this, to get tacked. 
There we go, he's blood boiling and we got a lot of tact. Okay, he attacks us. Now we have to move the conversation with something aggressive. Ah, oh, let's use this because we can even irritate him some more. There we go, he's ready to burst now. Okay, we are frustrated. Uh, let's try something aggressive again. How about this? There we go. We weakened him even more. There's his move. Oh, what was that? I think it was one of his special powers, I presume. Oh, I can't do something overt. Submissive. Yeah, let's try this as a subtle approach to gain some more tact. There we go. Okay, there comes his attack. Oh, yeah. Aggressive. He is beyond return. Okay, he does this. So, hopefully I can now end this. Yep, with a common approach. And win against him. Very nice. Your family will be proud. Well, our family hasn't got any power anymore, so I don't know if that helps. Anyways, we get 14 experience, so we will level up. There we go, level 7. And we got a bow tie. Nice. Very nice. And he is speechless. Mm. Now that that's settled, I'd like you to empty your pockets. What? <laughs> Are we a thief now? I would say you're the first person interested in emptying my pockets, but my former manager is currently vacationing in Majorca. Oh well, I'm not interested in your money. I'm not a train rower, but I will take that bow. Ah, that's all. Go right ahead. I brought a much be better tie to wear. Okay, we got another bow tie. Hmm. I'll put this to good use. Yes, we will indeed. I have no doubt. Okay, um, now we can see if we can mm -hmm. get a nice skill. So, we have four bow ties, so peace of mind, for example, we could use. Recover composure when using submissive phrases unless your tones will match. I don't know, inflection perfection was bonus power when landing the conversation cursor on reddish pegs. Uh, you know what, let's try with the um, eye contact. Start each discourse with 10 extra power. Can be upgraded. There we go. And we now have both powers activated. Mm, okay, so... I think we need more experience before we can engage um, Mrs. Prattle. Check lock topic. Private Prattle, we need level 3. Okay, so we could uh, talk to her, but I don't know if we would win the discourse. Uh, against him we stand no chance whatsoever, so I think I'll have another go with Mr. Holden McCall. Okay, now... Um, let's say something disruptive and get some power going on. to irritate us and he only gets a very little bit of power by doing so. Um, yeah, I think I'll go for the tact approach and won't irritate him too much. But I can now go for the star approach, which is this one. So, there we go. Ouch. We're already blood boiling. I think my strategy is not very good, after all. Oh well. Ah, we're right here where we started. Ah, he got some tact. Okay, uh, I think the star is number one, so... We can anger him a little bit more. Yep, he is getting some tact. Irritates us, and he gets a lot of that. Uh, I can't do this. 
Uh, although I would be very nearly, uh, very near the winning. So let's do this. Anger him, get power, and uh, there we go. Uh, we need to be careful because uh, I think he will strike any minute now. Uh, we can only do this, and this has the wrong sign. We need that. Move to... Ah, sure, why not? He's over the edge now. Yeah, my strategy is not very good right now. As, yeah. I think I might even lose this one. Okay. Submissive. Uh, I can do this. Uh, I don't know. Aggressive. What is the square? Okay, yeah. Let's try this and anger him. He is beyond return and we now have the tech to proceed, but yeah. Okay, we already lost. Dang it. You were no match, no. I really wasn't. There we go. Next level at 14. Yeah, I... Oh, man. Usually this is where I'd gloat, but I find that it soars my chances for a proper date. Hey! Is he asking... Oh. He's asking for a date again. Okay, nothing new here. I'll consider it. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, let's try to talk to Mrs. Prattle. Consider information. Miss Prattle is getting worked up over the obligations the professor has set up on us, upon us. I may be able to later light a fuse if I can gather the right information. If she gets angry enough, maybe her passion will disrupt the scene. Oh, so that is what we are doing here. Okay, talk to Mrs. Prattle. I can't believe the professor has the gall to experiment on his guests. Has he no honor? It is rather surprising. I'd expect a former colonel uh, to have at least some ethical code. I am beginning to think that all of these talks of his good deeds are simply rumors to aid his re reputable reputation. And now we unlocked Private Prattle level 3. So, continues. He must have some merits. Your son was quite taken by his influence, wasn't he? No. Oh. What could you possibly know of my son? From what I hear, the professor inspired many people to leave the armed forces. Your son was no exception. Oh. No. Apply ointment to burnt tissue. Oh, uh, what are you saying? Don't sound so flustered. Everyone knows that he left the military prematurely to run off with the head of Seymour House. The sale of this estate enabled them to elope. <gasps> elope? Horrid! Absurd! Treacherous! You can't possibly believe that my young boy would take part in such a ridiculous scandal. He's still working for a great country, proudly making his father proud. And still see she has a way with words. <laughs> There's hardly a point to contest. This is the reality of it. Your assertions are incorrect, you trollop. And now we have to engage in this scene. Okay. Um I need power. So let's do that. Oh, oh my interesting power okay I need to do something submissive preferably this one here to irritate her she's r way too collected to uh... oh, wow. aggressive this one very nice there we go Interestingly enough, oh wow, she isn't really gathering tact, but I'm afraid it might be... Ah, okay. Aggressive. I I can do that. There we go, she's blood boiling, we are still collected. And there we go, she's getting tact. Disruptive. Subtle. We get a bit of movement and anger her some more. She loses composure, and now we are getting a beating. 
Ah, not so nice, but oh well. Yeah, the star is what we want right now. Over the edge, we have 40 tacked. Okay, she gathers tacked. It's making us angry. And now I really need to strike. Over it. Very nice strike. There we go. Beyond return. If I'm very lucky, oh no, I won't be lucky enough to uh, um, beat her totally. Yeah, let's take the subtle approach to get some power and make her beyond return. Ah, over the edge. Yeah, there we need power. There comes the attack. Oh, very close to losing. I think I will have to uh, train a bit more. Yeah, movement plus three and anger her more to get a bit safer. Okay, now for the submissive part, I need uh, I need this. Disruptive. Let's do this, get some more movement in, and some more power. At least ten more. Okay. Submissive. Um, right, this is what I want. 60 tech for that. And now she strikes and... No, she doesn't strike, she gets more power. Okay, interesting. Win! Ha! Take that! Well, we won! No one can take this from you. And we get 19 experience, so we will ascend to level 8. There we go. No bow tie, unfortunately. Oh, we, we did earn a bow tie. Nice! We got one more bow. And she is speechless, and I like that. Now that you've stopped investing in your simple delusions, maybe we can work with each, with each other. <laughs> Still speechless. I suppose that's a possibility. I don't much care for you, but you're right. My son has disgraced the Prattle name, and it's no use hiding it. Everyone knows. <clears throat> but very few people seem to realize that it's Professor Chatter's fault that he acted out his boyish daydreams. Yes, indeed. That's an angle my husband and I had never fully considered. It isn't my son's fault he toyed with romantic fantasies. Every young man does it. The blame should be firmly placed on someone else. Yeah, that suits her very well. Hmm. Everyone steps up to one cliff's edge or another when they are young, but few step off. A superior officer should have provided guidance away from that cliff. Instead, Chatters pushed, and your son fell, bringing down the Prattle name. Could it be that I was invited to this party to play the fool once again? Was taking my son from me not enough for Chat Chatters? <clears throat> it's possible. We're all currently trapped here by the, his me mechanical manipulation. He could be capable of many devious and petty acts. I, for one, have had enough of this absurd absurdity. The way with words again. I'm going to demand to see the professor immediately. There we go. Proceeding another bit. Ooh. The servant is coming. Servant! I require your presence. I'm the only person here of that noble profession, so you must be referring to me. If you don't allow me to see the professor this very minute, I'm going to... To what exactly? Are you going to get even more drunk on the great professor's fine wines? <laughs> I've barely had a few drinks. Mm -hmm. And yet I can practically smell your breath from across the table. Do us all a favor and enjoy the hospitality you've been shown. This little experiment won't last much longer, I assure you. Yeah. Well, that went practically perfect. How dare you walk away from me? What a curious situation. Well, I fed it up to here with all of this. The professor will pay for spoiling the prattle name and trapping me in this little charade. Yeah. 
So let's all get drunk. Let's see how well the professor's marvelous invention withstands an 11 year aged bottle of watermelon port. And. Oh. Mrs. Prattle, what in the world are you doing? Yeah. Something I should have done earlier this evening. The professor should suggest we enjoy the wine, and I plan to just do that. Yeah. You haven't thought this through. Mr. McCall is absolutely correct. That's a priceless opal calling in your hand. Surely you meant to grab the Ambleton. <laughs> no. Ugh. Ooh. Dear heavens, that opal Colin barely had a chance to breathe. This is truly a sad day for good port, Mr. Boasting. Ooh. Oh, and we can't really investigate it now, can we? That is an adequate assertment, Mr. McCall. Even as a former serviceman, I can hardly say I've seen something quite so ghastly. Ooh, and the mouth comes again. Ladies and gentlemen, I have splendid news. According to my readouts, the mouth has been thoroughly soaked in liquid and glass. That's not the good news, though. The good news is that it still functions flawlessly. This is in no small part due to my tedious preparations, of course. I am a certified genius. And although I'm literally quivering with anger, I have to appreciate the fact that my invention was put through this test of passion. You're a monster, Chatters. You've been nothing but a blight to my family. I realize that some of you might be saying that I am some kind of monster. To that, I must reenact my scoff from earlier. There was the scoff. Now that my throat has been thoroughly cleared, I must make something even clearer. Extra clear. Clearer than my now scuffed throat. All of you should remain here until my research has been fully finished. Do any of you contest? You can't expect us not to take issue with this. I presume some of you haven't have taken issue with this? Fair enough. And I must confess that none of you have any say in the matter. And that is that. What? The blaster professor can't hear us, Mr. McCall. Your silver tongue is no use. Hey. And I feel quite the fool for attempting to engage in his devilish discourse. Don't be too hard on yourself, Mr. McCall. There's not much we can do in the face of his, this terrible power he has over us. Uh -huh. Ah yes, and before I forget... Miss Gorship, I require your presence in my study within the next five minutes. What? Why, why us? What? Me? Yes, you, Miss Gorship. Although I am only repeating myself out of childish joy at this point, the mouth is a rather fun contraption. I shall leave you to your evening. Please refrain from harming the mouth any more than you already have. That dirty scoundrel! Okay, so I think... oh, wow. That is indeed interest, interesting. You summoned me? For someone who practically assaulted a servant trying to get in here earlier, you're awfully calm. I don't much like being persuaded into your study by that mouth. Excuse me if I'm a bit tired. Hmm? You're a photographer, correct? I am, the head photographer at Mizinbo. Hmm. What does a bottling company need with, with a photographer? Everyone needs a photographer, Mr. Chatters. A picture is worth a thousand words. And you know how important words can be. Oh More than anyone, perhaps. Hmm. The, the real question is, why did you invite me to this gathering without knowing my professional place of work? That's not a matter of importance, yet. For now, we have business. <sighs> business? I have plenty more questions. Why have you called us here? Why us? How does the mouth work? Why can't we leave? Hmm? That's, a, that's an interesting question. There's an ancient story of a man who held the power of words in his hand. Quite literally. The word was engraved on a stone. Ooh, the hidden word. When he spoke the word aloud, people would simply collapse. Furthermore, 
he was immune to all forms of discourse. No matter the outcome of a conversation, he would walk away unscathed, completely in control. You ignore my questions. You must let me finish, Miss Gorship. Even without my machine, I am much more skilled than you are. You stand no chance. In the legends, it was thought that the stone held the power and that the word activated that power, but I believe otherwise. I believe that the word, written on any object, can be wielded as mortally as this any sword. To hold it is to know it and use it. Why would a renowned man of science invest uh, in such a fairy tale? What good is magic to a professor? Magic has its place in the world. Magic is simply a term for science we do not yet understand. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Seymour was a strong woman. She had most of the other houses under her control. My inside sources say that she so showed signs of having the word. No need to get into details, but everyone knows she was quite... powerful? <laughs> Invincible. That is, until I convinced Private Prattle to seduce her and leave the country. Oh, and we... send it in the level by Private Prattle. If this word existed, she surely took it with her. Not necessarily. There's hardly a reason to hold on to objects in the passions of a nighttime tryst. Once fully disrobed, Prattle convinced her to leave. The small details of the situations are hard to explain, but I assure you there is no chance she took the object with her. William made certain of it. Wow, interesting. William? Hmm? The remainder of the guests have calmed down for now, Professor. The mouth has, has upset them, but they show no signs of leaving. Excellent work, William. I was just informing Miss Gorship about my master plan. Oh, is that Private Prattle? I hope you left some details to her vivid imagination. Not many. I like to be fairly thorough when, I when divulging secret conspiracies to semi-strange guests. Why would he even do that? Why? <sighs> so you used Mrs. Seymour's servant to ensure that she fled the estate without any of her personal belongings. <laughs> Little good it did. She had apparently hid the word away before attending to Private Prattle's private prattling. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> and this is where you come in, Miss Gorship. You are a fresh set of eyes and ears. You are quite persuasive to boot. Your powers of suggestion have pitted Mrs. Prattle against us. That's a new mess we need to clean. Hmm. More importantly, you get along well with Seymour Seymour, heir to the Seymour house. He must have some information. Huh. Why not question him yourself? Why not use the mouth? We will if we have to, but for now it's best not to apply too much pressure. And using the mouth would inform everyone of our plan. Huh. As stupid as this plan sounds, what makes you think it? I will go along with it. You refuse? I'm not daft. Of course I refuse. Allow me to persuade you then. Well, level 40. We are... Well... We can't do anything. So, might as well take it subtle. And there we go. <laughs> he is too strong. You're already lost for words. At least we get some experience. Oh, oh. Speechless. Turns out you're a much better listener than you thought, eh? Now here's the deal. You are going to wean as much information about the word as possible from young Master Seymour without letting on too much about our plan. Ah. <sighs> Once you've discovered information we might find of use, you are to report to William. Hmm? Calling me Sir is an option, but not a demand. I also prefer pet names, like Your Highness and Mr. Superior. Go with whatev whatever feels right. <laughs> oh. Is this perfectly clear? Ah. <sighs> I'll be done before you know it. Well, this was quite a lengthy interlude. 
Chapter 3, Futility. Alright. Well, uh, the episode has gotten longer than I thought, because this interlude took way longer than I thought as well. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, a rating would be much appreciated, as always. And if you want to see more of this particular series, or maybe check out my other series, I suppose you go over to my channel and hit the little subscribe button. I of course hope to see you next time, so until then, yours faithfully, the Pestafarian.